What's up guys, it's Pierre here from Gdansk In Your Pocket and I hope you all had a very lovely Easter time. I certainly did. Uh, it's also been a very busy last couple of weeks, so obviously we haven't had a foodie Friday in a little while. Uh, apologies for that, but I'm back now and I'm gonna do the best to keep it weekly once again. I got a, a quiet recommendation from Anya uh, M in uh, Gdynia and she told me about a great new restaurant in Gdynia called Suvlaki. Now Suvlaki, uh, as you can probably guess, uh, is a Greek restaurant. Suvlaki is kind of like a, it's a, it's a Greek wrap basically, right? It's, it's like the Greek version of a kebab. They sell chicken and beef teki, which is beef, like in a kind of a sausage type thing. And I made an order and I'm going to try them today. So guys, full disclaimer, today is Navinos, uh, which means I ordered it myself and I, uh, I took it home myself. I didn't deliver it, obviously. Um, so it's been in my bag for about 15 minutes or so. So hopefully it's as good as possible. The first thing I picked up, I got some fritki, some fried chips. And the fritki came with a recommended spicy tomato sauce. So let's see, let's see how it goes together. Tomato sauce and a chip. Much nego. Hmm. Chips could probably have a bit more salt, to be honest. Hmm. But the tomato sauce is like real tomato. It's it's quite fresh. It's quite. Um, it's not like a sweet ketchup. It's very very. Uh, it's real tomato. Yeah. You know? And now for part two, the souvlaki. Let's have a look. I got a chicken souvlaki, and here it is. Oh, look at that beautiful, colorful souvlaki. I must say I'm very happy with the uh, packaging so far. Paper, foil, basically no plastic. So big thumbs up for packaging. Very happy. Okay, so here we go. Smudge nego. Mm. Mmm. Can you see the tzatziki? Tzatziki is that cream sauce, yeah? The ingredients are lovely and fresh as well. As in, I'm referring to the uh, the vegetables. Oh shit. One more time. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. And the chicken is nice and tender. It hasn't been overcooked and become, you know, really uh, firm and kind of just chunky and it's nice. Also, pita bread. I don't know where they get it from. Maybe they make their own. I somehow doubt it, but pita bread is great. The pita bread has this nice, um, kind of, um, what do we call it? Like the kind of the rustic sensation on, on the outside with a little bit of extra flour. Has this lovely kind of grainy texture to it. Mm. So guys, what do I think? Well, presentation. I mean, the food looks lovely. The packaging is simple, but it's effective. Okay, um, so presentation. Yeah, five. I'm cool with it. I'm really good with it. Um, packaging, like I said, paper and foil, two thumbs up, which means a five, right? If we were to talk about construction, obviously wraps are always a little bit of a challenge. They're never going to stay together perfectly. But to be honest, this is pretty good, yeah? Um, so I'm going to give four and a half, okay? As for taste, I don't know what more I can say. I mean, it's just all round, it's a really, really good chicken souvlaki. The spices are great. The ingredients are fresh, like I said. I don't know, like I'm very, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Five for taste. And then finally, value. For this whole thing, uh, I paid 31 zwatis. Let me double check. 
Yeah, I just double checked, but yes, 31 zwatties. I paid 31 zwatties for the fries and the kebab. Eh, boje drogi. For the fries and the chicken souvlaki. And of course, considering the fact that it tastes amazing, I think it's very much worthy of a five for value. So there you have it, souvlaki in Gdynia on Sventoyanska. Um, so where would you like me to go next? Please leave your comments below. And in the meantime, you can check out all the cool content we have on facebook.com slash Gdansk in your pocket. And we're also on Instagram at Gdansk in your pocket. And until next time, hopefully, I will see you next week. Yeah.